Sex in the City 2. Good title. Okay, so right off the bat, I'll admit I haven't seen Sex in the City anything ever. I might have seen bits of the movie in passing. I might have seen like an episode of the show years ago, but ultimately, I'm not really versed in the ways of Sex in the City. Because I'm a straight guy and we have Entourage. Okay, so Sex in the City is an adult female culture phenomenon. Not a tween female culture phenomenon, which is... It's coming sooner than we want. But it's safe to say that Sex in the City is like a religion to women. At least the women I know, they... They love this shit. But in a weird way, I can kind of see why. Like I said, I'm not really the demographic of Sex in the City, but I do understand why women find this appealing. But I will hand it to the writers of Sex in the City on a couple aspects. Sex in the City is not torture. It's not like Twilight, where I'm sitting there watching the movie and the whole time I'm just like... <laughs> This is really not like that. I mean, the writing's clever, it has some pretty witty dialogue, and it's clearly meant to be appealing for adults, not tweens. I mean, I can see the appeal for women to go to this movie and watch these women on screen who embody everything that they want to be, who live the lives they want to live. I mean, like I said, we guys, we do the same shit with Entourage, so I'm not really gonna bash anyone for watching a movie for that prospect. So, in Sex and the City 2, Terry Bradshaw and her friends, or <laughs> Carrie Bradshaw and her friends, yeah, different person. Have all settled down in some aspect of family life, but now they just need some straight up vacay together. So they go to Abu Dhabi. Isn't that where Garfield always wanted to send Nermal? So they all get away and they live nine star lives, which will make you either happy or make you want to kill yourself. But to be honest, the prospect of this movie has been done a million times before. You know, the whole grass is always greener on the other side, appreciate what you have thing. I mean, it's pretty much like, look at us all in our new lives, but I miss the way things were. Let's all just get away. Yay, we're away and men and shoes. Be thankful for what you have. I am thankful for what I have. My life is perfect. And yeah, you read that right. This movie is two hours and 20 minutes long. It's long. But it also did address what I think are legit issues in relationships. Like even after marriage, people still want their independent space. Apparently a lot of people don't know that. They think once the ring gets on, any and all need and want for independence is just washed away. And in reality, it's just not the case. So I'm glad this movie addressed that. And guys, the good part is if your woman loves sex in the city, then she should also realize that the whole theme of the movie is BFFs for life. And so she should realize that she'll have the most fun if she leaves you at home and takes her friends to go watch this movie. So you have dodged a bullet. For now until the real bullet hits. <laughs> so in short, Sex in the City 2 does have some witty dialogue and some funny moments, especially if you're a woman. But the long ass runtime and the tired and overused theme make it... eh. But if you're a woman and a fan of Sex in the City, you're gonna have a good time for two and a half hours. And you'll actually get all the jokes. But guys, you might want to stay home for this one. Because what guy would want to watch Sex in the City 2 this weekend? It'll just be a movie theater that's filled with women who are all there with their women friends who all got juiced on wine before they came to the movie theater, who are all now buzzed and watching a movie that's made to make them feel young and carefree again. Maybe I will go to the movie theater this weekend. I'm just saying it sounds smart. If anyone has an argument against it, I would love to hear it. Something tells me it won't be as smart as being a single guy going to watch Sex in the City this weekend. That's right. Trolling a theater for ass, always classy. And if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, then click here to see more.